Well, the people of Park Rapids are taking the initiative to make their community better 90 days at a time. Reporter Sherelle Moore is live in studio tonight to tell us about Action Park Rapids. Sherelle? Thank you, Dennis. Action Park Rapids kicked off last year, and since then, the group has created dozens of new ideas to make life in Park Rapids a little brighter. Over a year ago, a group in Park Rapids decided it was time to move the community forward. That's how Action Park Rapids was born. It stands for Actionable, Collaboration, Together, Implementing, Opportunity, Now. A lot of different organizations in the community were doing a lot of different things in their own silos and they were doing things independent of each other. So rather than having everybody working on the same project, it was called community facilitation. It got everybody into one room with the hopes that we could work together for a common goal, collaborate, and come up with things that would create action. Anyone is welcome to attend the action meeting, which makes for a diverse group of people with different opinions from different backgrounds. The group meets every 90 days. Well, we started out with about 35 people in January of 2017. Today is our largest group. We have 54 people from a variety of organizations, businesses, volunteers, just people that came and wanted to see what's going on. The idea is to come up with a plan of action that can be accomplished in the next 90 days. At this meeting, the crowd was divided into nine subgroups that focused on a different part of the community, including seniors, youth, education, and the arts. There have been dozens of new initiatives that have come out of the meetings, including an Ojibwe signage project, new recreation plans, and an initiative to make Park Rapids a dementia-friendly community. We've had some great success stories. For example, recently, um, and there'll be a lot more information coming up, the Volunteer Park Rapids website came out of this group. Even though it was talked about for many, many years, as it'd be great, this was the vehicle for people to get in a room, work together, focus on their grants, see how they could do it, put 90-day plans together, and they got somewhere. At the end of the meeting, each group shares their new ideas for the next 90 days and then they hear feedback from their peers on how to move those ideas forward. It's not a group at the top saying, you all need to be doing this. This is from the grassroots up. So these are people coming together saying, we want to make our community a better place. Here's what we see. Here's what we hope we can accomplish. And some of the new ideas the group came up with today include adding a bike trail, getting a United Way chapter in Park Rapids, and initiating phase two of the Dementia Friendly Community Program. Dennis, back to you. All right, thank you, Sherelle, for that live report tonight. The next Park Rapids Action Meeting will be held on August 2nd. You can find a full recap of today's meeting on parkrapids.com slash action Park Rapids. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.